Meet Infinix Smart 7 HD actually is a budget phone but for all those that doesn't have money to buy those high budget phones but you want to use a smartphone this is actually a good phone so we are going to be unboxing this phone for you to see what is inside it and, and I'm also going to be reviewing for you to see what are the functions what are the functionality what can this phone actually do so this is the phone it comes with leaflet and also comes with 500 free 500 megabyte data when you purchase phone itself and we also have this one we open it this is how the inside looks like it comes with a 10 watts power adapter which is this which you can use to charge your phone and you are going to also going to connect the cable and this adapter is actually adjustable depending on your socket this is what i mean when you slide it at this place this is how it comes when you slide it this is how it looks then the next thing we have on this box is this we have the hands free you can also actually use this hands free to listen to music and everything but i won't recommend this hands free because the sound is actually not that good it doesn't sound so good so i'll recommend you buy a new one then also a usb cable for charging the 10 watts for connecting to the 10 watts power adapter and we also have this some leaflet for downloading your music and all that things this is just a free music download site which you can use to download music to your phone and so many others they are giving free music downloads then we also have this particular one which is the sim ejector they use it to eject the sim tray for you to be able to connect your sim card into the phone it comes with this transparent cover this transparent cover but i think some people actually don't like the transparent cover that much so if you are not okay with this transparent cover you can actually get a different one out there so that's actually all everything that is in the box you can see so the next thing we're going to be doing is that we're, we're going to be reviewing this infinix smart 7 hd now this is how the phone looks like it looks very cute and it is going for 58,000 naira. that's the amount in which they sell it at present i think this phone is actually okay if you're looking for a budget phone and it comes with a usb android charging system and this is where the sim tray is you connect the sim ejector to eject the sim tray then you can put your sim inside it also comes with a fingerprint which is at the back there's something i like about this infinix and techno smartphone when you're buying it you already know what you're buying you already know the storage the capacity the ram the processor and everything they write it on the box which is very easy for you to be able to know what you're buying unlike the iphones and others you just buy the phone and you don't know its spec and other things so this is how the phone look at the inside when you power the phone on this is how it looks like so what we're going to be doing is that we're going to come to the settings for me to show you what are the capacity what are the storage what can this budget phone that is being sold 58,000 naira what can it do so for the ram this one comes with 2 gig ram with 2 gig expandable ram memory and the storage capacity of this phone is 64 gig inbuilt storage and it uses two nano sim with one sd card which simply means you can also use an sd card on this phone for the battery this one comes with 5000 milliamp power storage on it which simply means the battery stays longer compared to some of the old phones in which you get and this phone is actually a budget phone one thing i actually forgot is that this phone was launched in the year 2023 april precisely and since then this phone has been selling like and i think mainly the reason why it is selling is because of the price the price is really good for those that doesn't have money to afford those expensive phones. they can actually afford this one and another thing you need to know about this phone is that this phone supports 3g and 4g network but it doesn't support 5g network so if you're thinking of getting a 5g phone if you're thinking of getting a phone that supports 5g services it's actually not this phone it's the broadband of this phone ends in 4 4G. and last but not the least this phone camera comes with 8 megapixel back camera and i tested the camera to see how good it actually is so i can tell you for a fact the camera is very good even though not compared to some of the higher budget phones like the flagship phones but the camera is actually good this phone can be compared to this other techno phone pop 7 that's the only phone i can compare this phone to in terms of the price and functionalities